you're a Vancouverite without telling me you're a Vancouverite. Sky train in Vancouver was being pushed to its limits tonight. When the trains are delayed 30 minutes, you and when it shows up, the doors are frozen open, and the ding, 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 I'm going to Abbotsford right now, to the airport. We're gonna pick up somebody. So it's the month of December and our daycare has decided to close for two weeks. Now, I was able to get that one week off from work, but the next week I needed some help. All right, I'm here, I'm looking for her. She's brought nothing with her, so she shouldn't be waiting for any bags. She brought nothing. I can't find her anywhere. Hello? Hi! Hi, where are you? It's such a small airport. Oh, there you are. Keep going, keep going straight. Straight, straight. Keep going straight. Hi. It was actually pretty good. I can't complain. God, the people sitting next to me weren't talkative. Oh my God. Not even a hi. <laughs> I'm used to like seeing Vancouver so much different -er than Toronto. And I saw like the snow on the ground and then. We're gonna check out some Christmas lights. It's uh, a family that puts together like lots of lights on the house. They've been doing this for years and all the proceeds go to like BC uh, Children's Hospital. It's called the uh, Duplessis Family Home. I think it's called Duplessis. How do you say that? Duplessis. Anyways, it's like sync to radio music. We're like literally around the corner. We're gonna go check it out. No, Duplessis. No, I'm just gonna say Duplessis. That's a lot of lights. Look at the lights. Are you excited? August. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love the little nutcrackers guarding the fence. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do the same display every year, or they no? We've come here last year. And it was, it was different. slightly different. Yeah. Look at Santa behind the house. She's like, you know my feelings about Santa. <laughs> yeah. And the polar bears. <laughs> She's all right. She's like, I get it. Yeah. All right. You ready? You good? Okay. I don't know how to stop recording. Crazy how much snow came down. I can't even get the car out. I was really not anticipating the snow to uh, come down today. <laughs> He's drying. He can't go outside. The city is completely shut down. We don't even know if Ashley's going to be able to make her flight on Thursday because no one's allowed to leave the city. <laughs> well, no one, it's not like no one can leave, but no planes are taking off from the airport right now because it's just everything's buried. I don't know if this is true, but they're expecting a lot more snow tonight. So I'm hoping that I can take the car out, at least get some groceries, because we've been like stuck inside for the last few days. Like it's just been... 
This is like Montreal snow. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the car out because I wanna test it to see if I can actually go pick up Don or not. <laughs> Not gonna lie it doesn't look that bad on camera but I might get stuck unless I just gun it I think I could just gun it let's just do that that's great and all but now now that I'm out now what now where do I put this car there's no spots to park, obviously. And I need to stay on the main roads because all the side roads are all messed up. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be able to pick you up tonight. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> it's been a few days since I've you've seen the last clip. And we're still like completely buried in snow. Ashley has, uh, she's staying with us for another week. So the vlog continues. I'll get back to you when the snow starts to melt. <laughs>